Hello everyone, it's Terry from Umetsushi. Today we're going to be looking at some of the comments we received and I'll give some answers and responses to them. Let's get straight into it. What's the best brand of sushi rice? That really isn't a best brand of sushi rice. And what we use is a brand called Yumenishiki. You can find them on most of the Japanese suppliers in the UK. If you just Google Yumenishiki rice, you will find them. It's a pink packaging. I will put a link that below for you to have a look. Next one, better to boil rice or use a rice cooker. Um, I think for most purposes and intent, rice cooker all the way, it's it's just a lot easier for um, day-to-day use and the cleaning is easier, the preparation is easier. If you have really specific requirements to use, say a pressure cooker, you can use uh, follow one of our videos. I've demonstrated how you could cook rice or boil rice using a pressure cooker. I would normally not cook rice without a pressure cooker or a rice cooker. The texture is just not as good. Where to get good knives for cutting fish? Um, okay, I think it depends on your real use case or, or like how much you're going to use the knife. And if it's just day-to-day -day cooking at home, then any kitchen knife will be good enough. And I would advise actually use or, or get a whetstone so you can sharpen your knife properly. And that should be enough for most day-to-day -day use. But if you're looking at more professional grade uh, knives, I used a website called japanesechefsknives.com. Have a look. Will you offer in-person sushi classes? Um, right now, there's no plan to. Um, everything we do in Umen Sushi before, we try to show in our videos. If there's anything that you want to see particularly, leave a comment, write to us, and I'll make a video about it. Yeah. Where to get Japanese ingredients from? Shiso in particular. We use supplier, JFC is our main suppliers, and um, most of the ingredients like the fresh ingredients, we use various fish suppliers in London or in Manchester. And for shiso specifically, um, you can get them, or you can get a, variety, a version of it. It's also called Ovalives or Egoma. And you can get them in the Korean supermarkets called Osale in Manchester. Um, cooking sushi at home, what to look out for from fish from the supermarket or the fishmonger. From the supermarket, I wouldn't use fish from supermarkets personally, just because there's no guarantee how long the fish has been there. And from my experience, they've all been pretty poor quality. Um, in terms of fishmonger, there are a few ways you can tell whether the fish are good. Firstly, if you review our parasite video, that gives you some indication how well a fishmonger or their suppliers manage their logistics and uh, storage of fish. Um, apart from parasites, of course, you want to look at like the age of the fish, you want to look at the, uh, the temperature the fish was kept. And one key factor I use personally is the smell of the fish. Although, um, it does take some practice to know what is a safe smell. How to preserve leftover rice? Um, don't. Uh, it, it's just not advisable in terms of the health and safety regulations. All right, now to find someone who is a member. Yes, you can do that. Or you can win our competition. Or wait till next year, we will announce more membership availabilities or different ways that you could dine with us. Real artists doesn't mass produce art because they choose quality over quantity. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, certainly. I mean, now I do feel a lot more comfortable with what I cook and what I serve because I don't have to worry about tickets after tickets of deliveries on time and, uh, and customer waiting for food. Now I make sure every dish I serve out is the standard that I want. So yeah, thank you very much for the support and understanding. No way is he defying this at the counter where he also handles fresh fish. He's using Egoma and Kose Shiso. Nowhere close to authentic. 
uh, well, well spotted. Uh, good attention to details. Yes, yes, it wasn't strictly speaking shiso. The flavor was close enough though. And um, it, it's obalives or egoma, uh, as you correctly stated. And in terms of the deep frying, at the same counter as the fresh fish, all the fresh fish and ingredients are prepped before the tempura cooking and the chopping boards and everything are lined up using the correct color code so no concern of health and safety there next <laughs> is this mcdonald's um well i mean if mcdonald's serves food like this i'll be there every day the membership may be for the food but talking to the amazingly down-to-earth chef has to be a big plus as well thank you so much uh, i mean i enjoy talking to to the people that attend this omakase events and it gets to see the real feedback and really immediate feedback um, good or bad taking on the chin but it really helps me to improve and do better next time damn man don't waste those abalone shells you can easily sell them to artisans who want to use it um yes we have some N not a lot of it but if you're artist and you want to use abalone shells in your creations get in contact write to us um, what he's cooking doesn't seem to be so much more time consuming than what most chefs cook. Um, he, yes, it. No, you shouldn't take more time than any chef. In fact, the actual cooking time of each ingredient would probably be shorter. The challenge is that lined, aligned each piece at the right timing and serve it at the right time and cooking it at the right time. Is the challenge and I cannot parallel process it because each piece has to be cooked and served straight away and if there's too much waiting time then they are not being served at optimal and this is not just about tempura also for sushi or or, or kushiaki that some of the omakase that we do and I think that's what the time goes in Ooh, this one is from New Zealand in New Zealand situation is kina and abalone is power Kina is creamier when you eat them straight from the shell and the power is delicious in cream with fried bread. That sounds great. I personally love eating uh, uni or sea urchin from the shell. And in fact, last one I tried was in Taiwan. And it, after cleaning it out, we pour beer over it and then pour the beer out, the residual beer inside, actually adds flavor and enhances the creaminess and the sweetness of sea urchin. Loved it. I've not tried uh, abalone in cream with fried bread. It sounds delicious. I must try that next time. Thank you for your comment. I'll give my left nut to eat here right now. What do you do with your right nut? Let's find two members and get rid of them. No, don't get rid of our members. They are important. They are friends. Uh, we'll soon we'll announce more membership so you don't need to get rid of anyone. Befriend them and they'll bring you to Mezushi. Take all my money. You don't need to give me money. You can learn everything. You can recreate the flavor by following our videos. That will be an easier way. And cheaper, probably. Hands down the best restaurant in Manchester. A privilege to eat there. Thank you very much. It's a privilege for me to cook for you. And uh, that's a very kind comment. I mean, restaurants, there's no best or worst. It's just what people like. That's what I would like to believe. And I'm just serving food that I want to eat myself. That's the only authenticity that I have. But thank you. How do you make the tempura crust? The base recipe is really simple. It's wheat flour and um, with water and egg. But to reduce the sort of gluten content, I add buckwheat flour in there as well and added uh, sparkling water and uh, vodka. The sparkling water just adds fizziness to it. The vodka with the high alcohol content creates that bigger bubble when cooking. So that's what I do. Are you going to do some videos about dry aging too? Uh, yes, we have done. And uh, go and have a look. It's a combination of ikijime and the dry aging. If you have any questions, leave us a comment or write to us and I'll try my best to answer any of the questions that you have. What fish that is rather available in northern western Europe other than salmon and tuna do you recommend for sushi and any notes on how to prepare it? Yes, there are quite a few fish that are great for sushi in this region. Uh, plenty of flat fish. 
like um, double sole and uh, halibut or turbot, lemon sole, etc. etc. They are great for sushi. And some other is like, for example, red mullet or jongdori. And um, I think, oh, and a lot of shellfish. Thank you very much. I think that's everything we have. Remember to subscribe so you don't miss any of our content.